So I am having an overheating problem with the transmission. Um, car going into limp mode. Uh, floor the gas and then it won't go. It's like restricted. Engine lights on. I'm getting transmission codes. And uh, what happened before was it, uh, I believe the transmission overheated, went into limp mode and the person kept driving it and it eventually burnt out the transmission. So I replaced the transmission. Um, the car was still in limp mode after I changed the transmission. And so what it said to do was drive it around for about 100K, 150K and it would go back to normal or you could get the computer flashed. Um, I wanted to see if I could get it to go back to normal. I drove the car around but overheated again and kept going back into limp mode every time I would drive around, but I could feel the transmission getting stronger. But as soon as the transmission overheats, I uh, go into limp mode. So what I decided to do was I checked if the cooling was working fine. I came up with different scenarios as to why the engine, the transmission is overheating all of a sudden. Um, I checked all the cooling lines, here's the cooling lines, here's the cooler for it. I checked if for any restrictions, I checked if it was pumping, it's pumping, um, but for some reason it's getting too hot still. So one of the things was I modified the cooler distance away from the rad because what happens is I read one a post somewhere that the distance between the rad and the cooler is too close because you're getting the heat off the engine and it's heating up the cooling lines as well it doesn't get a chance to cool down so one of the modifications I'm making is I bent that back and made it curved it so that it would spread it farther away I still have a little bit more room to uh, come so I don't hit the bumper and that's a pretty good significant distance if you look at that and for the bottom there, I stuck a bolt in between as a washer for thickness. I had to find different 10 mil bolts or uh, take out the, get rid of the old 10 mil bolts. And I found my own bolts that were long enough to reach in there. And uh, where is it now? If you look here, that's what I used as a spacer. And I grabbed a longer bolt and put a washer on it with the same kind of thread. It's a different head. It's an eight mil now, but I'm going to alter that. And hopefully that'll help keep it cool because I'm, I know I'm still pumping fluid. Transmission is fine. So I'm going to try that for an alternate cooling method. And I'm going to make another video on uh, one post where a guy was stating that because the transmission is reading hot, um, it goes into limp mode. The temperature gets too hot, so your vehicle goes into limp mode so that you don't burn out your transmission or burn out your engine. But I watched another video where a guy had stated to go after that wire right there, which is the red and white, and right there, and put a resistor on it because what's happening is the transmission is giving false readings about the temperature that it has because it still has time to get hotter before that uh, the thermostat on the whatever the temperature control on it gets too hot it says it's getting too hot when it's not so one guy said to put a resistor on there uh, I believe it was a 150 ohm resistor I'm gonna try that I'm gonna put one in there. I'll make another video on that, on how I do that. But I'm trying the alteration of the cooler because I am getting cooler. You could put a bigger cooler, I suppose, but the AC runs through that cooler as well. The top part, of, as you could see, that's the transmission cooler right there. And I got a little bit of restriction of flow going through, but I'm gonna test it again and make sure that it's flowing good enough. And the problem is that it's transmission's getting hot going into limp mode. Um, and that's it. So if you could figure out 
the why your transmission is getting hot all of a sudden that could be the reason as to why you're going into limp mode and I'll make another video on the, the wire down there and then I'll make a video on letting you know how everything went if that fixed the problem thanks for watching